Well, good morning. It's Monday morning. We are so blessed to be able to come and and be a part of your day. Thank you for allowing us to be a part of your day. And trust that you got to church yesterday um, with all of the COVID that's going on right now. A lot of people are uh, fearful, you know, and uh, we had a gentleman in our church here uh, who had gotten COVID and actually had to go to the hospital and he developed pneumonia, but he's doing great now. He's out of the hospital. But the other day um, the, uh, when I was talking to him, the Lord just inspired me to say this to him. Um, you've met your enemy and you won. Mm-hmm. And sometimes we're so afraid of the enemy that that fear really overwhelms us and becomes greater than and, even that thing. And the fear we have is because of the constant bombardment yeah. of, of the news and everyone else, their, their fear of COVID. I'm not saying COVID's not a horrible thing. Yeah, it is. But, it, it, but so, is other, so are other diseases, yeah. and we don't walk around in total fear of yeah. them. Yeah, praise God. And so we just need to be strong. So that lead, leads us to the title of our devotion this morning, which is Stay Engaged in hard times. And we're using Hebrews chapter 6 verse 12 from the Amplified and it says this, so that you will not be spiritually sluggish but will instead be imitators of those who through faith lean on God with absolute trust and confidence in him and his power and by patient endurance even when suffering are now inheriting the promises. And to me, that's staying engaged. You know, that's it's right. one thing to say I have faith in the easy times, but when the difficult yeah, times come. That's the real test. Yeah, when it? the rubber meets the road. You rub. know, the Passion Translation says this. So don't allow your hearts to grow dull or lose your enthusiasm, but follow the example of those who fully receive what God has promised because of their strong faith and patient endurance. Amen, amen. Amen. Well, well there's some, uh, what we, Pastor Marshall Marsh and I want to do over the next couple of days is just share with you what we believe are six qualities or some qualities of those who really stay engaged in the hard times. Yeah. And, and we all have hard times. I mean, it's not like, oh, I'm a Christian, I'm never going to have a problem, never going to have a challenge. Paul calls us overcomers in Romans chapter 8. You know, that means you overcome something. And my daughter reminded me the other day that half of the word of testimony is called test. You know, you have to get through the test to have a testimony. So here's one of them. The number one quality we believe that staying engaged in hard times is called trust. And Proverbs 4, 5 says this, trust in the Lord with all of your heart. And I believe um, we have to learn to trust God. We have to learn to rely on Him, Marcia. Yeah, that uh, we also need to learn to trust Him. That He knows more than we do, sure. and He's going to take care of it. And He's got He's already got the solution for you. It's a matter of trusting Him that He's going to come through. We we try to equate uh, uh, God with man. Sure. You can't do yeah, that. Can't God do that. is God. He's awesome. And he, he, we can trust him. Okay? Absolutely. Well, you know, the scripture says this right here, call upon the name of the Lord and he will answer. Amen. So let's trust God that he will do what he says Amen. he will do, right? And I think that's where you talk about, we equate him with men. Right. The second one that we have is the word patience. To, to stay engaged in hard times, I believe you have to live or operate in patience. Amen. Amen. And Amen. so Psalms 37, 7 says this right here. Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret. That's the, t- That's the key <laughs> That's right there. there isn't don't it? fret. Because worry is almost like second nature. And yeah. I think for some people, it's first nature, okay? Right. Worry will just suck it right oh, out. Oh, every wanted. bit of it. And, and when we go back to that scripture, uh, it says, by faith and patience, we inherit the promises right. of God. You know, if you, you can have all the faith in the world, but if you are not patient to stay engaged, your faith has to stay engaged or you're waiting for that to be manifested be in Amen. your life. You, you say this a lot of times, and I like this. Uh, you have to walk out your faith. And I believe we do that in our lives. We can talk about being spiritual, but if we're not walking out our faith, we can talk about faith, That's have right. a lot of knowledge of faith, but if we're not walking, if we're not walking it out, then it's really Yeah, my grandma used to say words are cheap. Yes, they are. Your actions and your, your heart 
come about, then it? Absolutely. We'll, we'll just do these start tomorrow. Okay, we let's got to do, do that. two of them today, yeah, so we we're going to finish four of them yeah, tomorrow. We didn't get quite as far as this, but God bless you. We love you, appreciate you. We we pray for you every day that the Lord will bless you and keep you in His safety. He is a keeping kind of God. Amen. God bless you. Have a blessed day.